QAnon, Trump's big lie, they've exposed how easy it is for facts to be ignored for political conveniences. But here, you know, here's the reality. Facts are stubborn things and they've got a liberal bias. I, I know that facts matter. I know that science is real. I know that there's not, there is fake news, but it's not PBS and the BBC and the AP. That's news. That's journalism. And there are journalistic standards that maintain, that allow for that first draft of history to be as accurate as possible. Uh, and we believe in those, we believe in science, we believe in journalism, uh, and we believe that facts absolutely matter. And you know what, sometimes it takes a lot of strength to tell the truth, to be the skunk at the garden party, right? You know who lies for convenience sake? Weaklings and pretty much the entire Republican party right now. They are willing to go along with a lie because they didn't want to challenge Trump's assertion that the election had been stolen while he was trying to steal the election. They chose to go along with his efforts, his seditious efforts to steal our election because they thought he wouldn't get away with it. And some of them thought he would, and that's why they were going along with him. And it is outrageous that that's where we are in our political discourse right now. So you know, uh, we need to make sure that these lies don't take hold and become these deeply held convictions. We need to always chip away at those lies with the truth. And that's what we pledge to do on this show, on this show every week. We're fact-based. We're a bit biased, I'll be honest. We're proudly progressive. We firmly believe the Democratic Party is the only choice for pe people who want a functioning government. Uh, that works for the people, not for corporations. We certainly acknowledge that Democrats aren't perfect, uh, but they try. <laughs> they are working to make things better by and large. There's corruption in the Democratic Party, but there's not the level of corruption there is in the Republican Party, that's for sure. And I think when you find co corruption out there, we are going to expose it as much as we can. We are not a you know, blanket endorsement. We are progressives. We're going to fight to make our political system more progressive here in Kentucky, because ultimately, that progressive politics means a greater minimum wage. Uh, it means, you know, systems actually function for people, not for corporations. Uh, it means, you know, tackling climate change so that our planet and our state commonwealth remain habitable into the future. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to work hard on this. You know, right now we're seeing Republicans lie with impunity. They're manipulating and taking advantage of their base uh, to deliver for co corporations. Uh, and we understand that credibility is gained in drops and lost in buckets. So we are going to work hard to get it right, to have our facts straight. We believe in the adage that you're entitled to your own opinions, but never your own facts. So we hope to highlight differences of opinion among our hosts, among our guests, certainly among our viewers. We don't want to get everyone singing from the same you know, songbook. We want to expose differences of opinion. I think that's a healthy, that's a healthy part of our political discourse, right? Is when people can agree uh, on the facts, but disagree on what that means for the policy that we want to see implemented. Uh, and that's what, you know, what we promise to do uh, with, for you every week here on Progress Kentucky's Kernels of Truth. And I hope you'll join us and I hope you'll share it. And I hope you'll, you know, be a part of the conversation. I love seeing an active comments uh, thread uh, on, the co uh, on, on the Facebook feed. But if you like what we're doing here, tell more people about it so we can get more eyeballs on it and have more of a conversation.